Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue Complete Arc and Scorched Earth. Now recently Wildcard have released their newest TLC and in that update we can now breed with the Wyverns. I haven't had much success grabbing any more decent Wyvern eggs between episodes but I'm keeping my eye out for a decent Lightning Wyvern eggs and experimenting with the breeding here because there's more than one way now to take out the manticore and adding that breeding mechanic means we don't have to do it with the rexes however i am breeding the rexes because we've got some decent ones here and i'm going to put a guide on how i go about breeding later in the week so keep an eye out for that because i'm also doing it on my community server getting some battle rexes ready so i've got a few examples of how i go about doing it but today we're going to be taking on the grave of the tyrants that's up in the north of the map and we're going to go and grab the artifact of the crag We're just up towards the north of the map. Just behind us is the blue obelisk. And the grave of the tyrant's entrance is just located down here. So we're gonna visit what I assume is a graveyard. Here it is on the map. And I think I've got a GPS on me as well so I can bring up the coordinates. Roughly 29 by 29. And this desert armor is holding up quite well with our combined fortitude. Doing quite well. Perhaps we can find some more in here, some loot drops. So let's get Vex out. And I'm going to put my storage chest down so we can keep farming the artifact. And I'm also going to put a couple of sleeping bags down. Something I forgot to do at the weekend in the live stream and it ended badly so it's always better to plan. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You know what they say, failing to plan is planning to fail. I know somebody was asking me about getting a torch on their saddle. You have to put that in the animal's infantry and then drag it onto the animal's saddle for some reason. You can't do it directly from your infantry. We have got a couple of rocket launchers, 16 projectiles. I've got a couple of heat-seeking missiles and a cluster bomb as well. Things I've been picking up in various drops around the map. So if I can avoid the rock golems, I will. Just like in the previous cave, we'll just get out of their way. But if something is blocking the artifact or we need a loot drop specifically, I will use the rocket launcher. But we're just going to take this one slowly. Now I'd say this is probably the easier of the three caves. I think uh, we'll gamma up. That's better. A little bit more light for you. But I'd say this is the easier one of, of the three caves, or the shortest one. From what I can remember. Hopefully everything's spawning properly. I have noticed that the first time we went into our other cave of the gatekeeper, Things didn't really spawn until we were sort of on our way out. And uh, so far, well, we should have a few onyx or something. I can see something up in front of us there. Is it a Megaloceros? I forgot they do spawn in here. Yeah. They're pretty slow during the day. And I can't see anything else back there. Just in front of us is water to the side. But I know that there is a bottomless pit. Or I'm pretty sure it's a bottomless pit in this cave. So we want to be careful. Of course with the TLC update we've also got that bleed effect. Now with the updates the Phylacolios also got a debuff effect. Adding a bleed is great because that just makes the Philo more powerful. Unfortunately you can't take him into boss fights though so 
even if we did do a pack and try and experiment with some super mutated phylos yeah it's kind of difficult to use them on all of the maps so we've got three ways around they all lead to the same place but if I remember rightly this way just gives us a bit of a vantage point perhaps we can get some shots in on here now there should be plenty of things in this part of the cave and I'm not seeing much to watch out for the megalania that just dropped down from the ceiling don't want to get mega rabies but as far as I can see it's just a spider down there so I don't know what's going on with the cave spawns don't think we've missed anything behind us there's usually plenty of trouble around this corner though so carry on love how the rays of light come through these caves so the grave of the tyrants there's plenty of large animal bones laying around in this cave system there's an explorer note there but there's a rubble golem so I think in this case I might just get it to come up here jump out of its wave yeah we'll just get out of its way and it's one of the rubble golems I can leave should follow us it should just go back into its rock form here I want to save as many of them rockets as I can the ammo is quite expensive you can just see it up in the distance there we go it's gone back into rock form so I don't need to take it out I can jump past it on the way back as well now I think that there is a sheer drop we don't want to be falling down there if I remember rightly that is not water take it slowly I can see that's water at my side but I'm pretty sure it falls off into a bottomless cavern just around the side here I don't want to risk falling there can't see anything hanging from the ceiling so yeah I don't want to be falling down there I think that, is that a saber tooth? Forget they spawn in here as well. We haven't had any wolves yet, but let's just tag this one. It'll fall off the side. Hey, I'm falling from the ceiling as well. Yeah, don't want to fall down there. Okay. Whoa. Miss that mega how that did not drop on my head, I don't know. Ooh, that were close. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't spot that. That was right in front of us. Come on, turn around, Vex, I can't get to it. I can't believe it hasn't actually jumped on us from here. It must have been the fact that we wasn't on the floor that it didn't just jump on top of us there. That could have been bad news. It's in a really bad spot as well. Just waiting for us. So I don't really want to do a running jump here, just a normal jump. Vex has got plenty of speed on her. Don't want to over jump it and hit the ceiling and just fall into the abyss. Okay. Let's continue on down here. So the artifact is just up ahead, if I remember rightly. Got another Megaloceros here. Time. I think there's a saber tooth in the wall next to us as well. Okay, can't see anything hanging from the ceiling to ambush us. Not sure if that's on obsidian or if that's another megaloceros in the corner there. Some giant bones in front of us. There's quite often rubble golems in this part of the cave, so 
see some onyx in the back. So I'm just going to tag this Megaloceros. Bring it over this way. You can see the artifact in the distance, just in that room ahead. Not offered as much resistance. Haven't come across any loot crates though on our way. Yeah, stuff's just spawning in the wall this time. Ooh, where'd you come from? Oh, rubble going. Okay. Alright, let's get out of its way. Hopefully it's just behind the pillar. Yeah, it looks like it's just gone behind the pillar. No need to take it out just yet. I think we're pretty safe. Let's give a point to Vex. Let's do some stamina, I think. Get that up above 2,000. Okay, I think we're safe to proceed. So here we go, the artifact of the crag. You've got this giant skeleton right in front of it here as well. Not sure what creature that one would have been. Manta give me a heart attack. <laughs> There's all stuff spawning in the walls. I'm going to make sure I'm sure everything's clear before I jump off Vex here and grab this artifact. I can just hear another Manta in here somewhere. It's, some, it's going to glitch through the wall as soon as we jump off Vex. <laughs> I can hear it, but it looks like it's stuck somewhere keep one eye open. I know what arcs like as soon as I start transferring something will come in. Oh, like that saber right there. <laughs> Where did you come from? Wall saber. Well, that's the artifact of the crag. We've got the skin for it, which is a torch skin. I'll quickly show that off. We haven't had any loot crates spawn. Wasn't planning to do too much farming in this cave. So the loot's not that great from here, but we'll keep coming back and grab a few more artifacts. And there you go, some bones on the side of the torch as a skin for getting that artifact. I quite like that. Okay, so we've had a few artifacts. I've got two rock golems stuck behind them bones in front of us. Only one of them's out at the moment. But they can't get out of there. But I have a rock golem in front of us, so in order to get any more artifacts, I'm going to have to take it out. We have been getting plenty of stuff spawned back in the artifacts, but no loot crates, unfortunately. It wasn't one that I was really planning to farm. Now, I don't think we can get this rubble golem out, so... This is why I was saving the ammunition, really. Just for when we have to use it. I've got no choice, I can't get past that, so... Hopefully one more should do it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we've had plenty of stuff spawning back in the cave, but unfortunately no loot crates, so this will be the fourth time I've grabbed it. I've been waiting just in case. But I can hear a, <laughs> a wall saber there. I hear a spider somewhere. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I think that'll do us today for the artifact of the crag. I've got four now. Haven't had much luck with the loot, but that's okay. We can go back to the Gatekeeper Cave and we still have the ruins of Nosti to explore. And that's probably the cave that I'm going to farm the most. Could do with a couple more sets of desert armor. 
definitely do with some better weapons. A better shotgun would be great. Or even a better long neck. I'm basically using primitive stuff all the way on my bottom line at the moment. We have got that good wreck saddle. Just going to drop all of that. I've lo loaded up the wyvern with plenty of hide, so I don't mind leaving a little bit behind. I try not to, I know we're going to need it. That's if we do go on to the final fight with Rexes, of course. The wyverns don't have saddles, so... Okay. This is the way we didn't come. Just down to our right here is a little explorer note. Grab that one earlier. Don't think that rubble golem's spawning here anymore. That's the artifact of the crack. I'll give it one more go. We'll uh, come back in, see if I can find any more loot. Just grab this megalania before I come back in. Now you're bound to jump on me. But yeah, I'll come back for one more run. See if we can find any loot. So we managed to visit the Grave of the Tyrants and we've got plenty of the Artifact of the Crag now. Unfortunately, there wasn't any loot crates spawning in that cave. I didn't want to use loads of ammunition up fighting the rubble golems in such a tight space. So we're going to farm the other caves. But we did get plenty of these torch skins here with the cool bones on the side. I like the fact that the artifacts have these little skins inside of Scorched Earth. They should have done it with a few more of the maps. But that about covers it for this week. Don't forget, later in the week I'll be doing my guide on breeding. And next week I'm sure we'll be taking on the final cave. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.